Okay, so I'm going to just um, start with the New Horizons papers. And I've got my um, rectangle punch here. And I'm just going to come in and I'm going to punch out as close as I can. So it's kind of straight. So I'm going to punch out three um, squares. I'll see what we've got in terms of how, how much space I need. And I, I might have another one, but I'm going to start with three. So actually the rectangles aren't made, they're not squares, but I'm going to punch out three rectangles. Got up there. And then I'm going to mount them onto, um, sorry, I was going to say blackboard, but um, I've got my Eden and Evergreen card here, so which is one of the colours that's on this. Yeah, so I'm going to actually just use the Eden and Evergreen card because it's the one that matches the colours that are in the papers. So the rectangles measure, let's have a look to see what they measure. The rectangles measure, well that's three and a half centimetres by five centimetres, so I need five and a half. I'm just going to um, do a little small border around each one. So five and a half by um, four. So five and a half by four. Four. I've got three of those cut out. And then what I'll do is I'll just mount these. I might actually make four. No, if I do it that way, then it'll be like going in a row. Won't it? That'll be quite nice. No, it's just going through my head because obviously I'm just, just an idea. Right, so got that. So I'll get those stuck down. The glue to pop. That goes away. So I've got some flowers like that. So that's one layer. Next one. These papers are so beautiful. And we've got this one's upside down, but it's fine. I can turn it around in a second. So that's kind of trees in the background. So I've got that one. And then this one. And then I'll just see what way that's going to look on a C6 card. So if I grab, I've got some pre cut pieces here. I've just got a layer so I can come in with these three and hopefully they'll just fit nicely. Oh yeah, that's perfect, isn't it? So if I actually raise them up a little bit, I could have a sentiment at the bottom here. So I'm going to just probably glue and I'll probably glue maybe two flat and have one raised. So um, let's just start with the middle one, as, which is probably going to be the easiest for me to put in the right place. Sorry, the kids are playing out in the back garden next door, so it's probably going to get a little bit noisy. Um, so I shall just stick this one flat. Just in the middle. Look out where that needs to go. Yep, like that. Perfect. And then I'll just position the other two around. Oh, that's so pretty. So nice, like that. So, then pop that on that side. Like so. Just gonna 
up just a little bit. It's better, I think. And then the last one, sorry, oops, got stuck there. The last one I'll just pop down. Oops, I'll get on there. There we go. Make sure it's the right way around. Just pop that one down. Oh, it's just so lovely. Isn't that really nice? Wow, love that. Right, so now I'm going to layer it onto my, um, I think I'll layer it onto the um, evergreen card again and then put it on the card base and I'll stamp a little sentiment at the bottom here. So before I um, layer it, I'll pop my sentiment on. So I think for this one, I'll just have a um, best wishes one, I think. Best wishes, it's just a very small um, sentiment, but I think that's just going to be perfect. And I might actually uh, layer it up. Just got a scrap of um, the white card. And I've got even an evergreen ink here. Check because it's the first time I've um, used the stamp, so I'm just make sure because sometimes whenever they're just new, they can be um, you, you know you might need to clean them before you actually get a good impression with it. Oh no, that's all right. It's not just my ink's a little bit juicy, I think. Just try another one, just a lighter touch, maybe. Just because my ink is very, it's a new ink pad. Oh yeah, it's going to be a little bit better. Um, so I'll just close that up so that there's no incidents or accidents. And then I'll just trim that down. And then I'll just stick that onto a piece of the Evening Evergreen card. And then I'll just trim that. So oh, that's perfect, I think. And then I'll just pop that on the bottom. And just glue that in place. And stick that down. Pop that in. About there. And I'm just going to have that just at the bottom. Actually, probably between those. Well, maybe. Ah, oh, yeah, maybe in the middle, actually. Right, so I'm just going to um, cut a layer to go underneath. So, what will be three and three quarters or five and a half? And as I've got my punches out, I'll just punch, um, I might just punch a couple of squares out actually, because if I do little inches. So I'm just going to get this um, card. So I'll just come in and um, punch out of this card before I stick my layer over it, because otherwise it's just wasted. Um, just like that, because that's going to go on top and you never know that I've got all those bits out of there. That's called gutting your card. Frugal crafting. <laughs> so I'm going to stick this down actually with a bit of tape. And then, oh. there we go. Just, I will stand up for this to try and get it in the proper place. I'll be careful that it doesn't stick. So now you see at the back, I've got it out, but when I stick this onto my card base, you'll never know that we've got all those lovely little inches out of that. So I will, um, yeah, I think I'll just glue it flat. You could raise it if you wanted, but I'm just going to um, pop that on flat. 
And then we'll just pop that down onto our card base. And really, there wasn't anything to that, really. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? 